What's up, everybody? This is Matt Hatfield. We are here live and direct at the Agenda Trade Show in Long Beach, California. We're joined by my man, Jamie Fowler from Clay. Jamie, how's it going today, man? Going good. It's been a good show. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. So, Agenda, for those who don't know, what do you think is like the best part about the Agenda Trade Show? It's the first show of the season. The people that run the show do a tremendous job making sure all the buyers are here. Everybody's excited for the new sales season, seeing the new product. Nobody wants to miss anything, so they walk the whole show. You know, right. it's really the strongest show of the year. I really feel that way. So tell me, like, what are some of the strong silhouettes that you guys have that you're showing this time uh, at Agenda? So we have some new stuff coming, but we always want to focus on our core business. Right. So we have, like, here the Ellington, which has been a top seller for us in our line for about four years now. This is like our shoe. This is the right. one that, I mean, I think most people know us for at this point. This is what's good. We offer this in textiles, suede, and leathers. And we've also started to offer it on a new uh, thicker cup sole for those guys that don't want the, the more low profile right. silhouette. Um, this is the cactus suede. We've seen a lot of stuff with uh, tonal uppers being really hot in footwear, but the biggest challenge is coming with a unique either material or color. Tell me about this cactus and how it came about and all that kind of stuff. Well, our, uh, our creative director and designer, Sung Choi, yeah. has been trying to find leathers and suedes for this shoe for so many seasons now. It's driving them nuts. I mean, how many different browns can you do? How many different black leathers can you do? So we're constantly digging deep into, into different materials, what different options are. And you know, we came across this one. We actually uh, worked on several different greens that we wanted to call cactus and finally got like a nice muted, not too saturated one. I remember clay, the first time I really got it onto clay was with the Russell when the cup soles were really huge and big white cup soles. I've noticed that you guys have a lot of cream colored uh, soles this season. So one of the things that we got from our customers, and maybe this is kind of that business casual customer that we're seeking, right. they find that white soles aren't for them. When we do too many white soles, they kind of push back on us. And so we, we went to cream as an option and it's been well received and we've kind of stuck with cream, but we've really now started to dabble into more tonals where it's to the floor all the way, the same color. Uh, we've also started doing gum soles or just gum treads just to throw something different in there. Right. So tell me about some of your other one, your other products you got here. All right, well, while I'm talking about the new sole, we have uh, what we're calling our SP sole, standard premium. Uh, we offer it actually on the Ellington and the Strayhorn, which I don't have one here, but it's a mid top. Yeah. We have it on our Hamilton boot. Um, and we still offer the original versions of those shoes too. We just wanted to kind of have a premium or elevated right. uh, line. And this is a new shoe for us. This is the Bradley. Yeah. This is a classic court shoe. Um, our interpretation, modern interpretation of it. Yeah. Uh, it's, got, it's got a nice raw finish here on the tongue. Cream sole, just to kind of break up the white. And then we use neoprene here on the heel as a comfort point. I noticed that. I noticed that because that's the biggest problem with most like all leather shoes is your ankles get torn to shreds that when you wear them. Especially when it has that raw finish that yes. goes around, it just tears right into you. And so we, we really pride ourselves on comfort and quality construction. And this shoe is a, per a perfect example of that. Perfect, perfect. And, where, and this will be coming out when? This is actually gonna be coming next spring. All of these are spring 16, so that'll be like uh, probably mid-February. One thing that I will point out on our SP sole is the tread is actually recessed. It's so that you only wear down the tread. You don't wear down the visible part of the outsole. Right. So the, you get crispy soles for days. So tell me about this one here. So while I'm holding this, we will go into that. Um, this is a new one for us as well. This is the Charles. The Charles, you know, I think everyone's kind of familiar with the design of the shoe, right. but we wanted to elevate that design and give it the clay DNA that it deserves. Yeah. So it's got hits of veg tan leather throughout. It's a natural canvas. We have a couple other color options coming as well. This one's been the highlight of the show for us. So uh, we're really excited about it. It's an $80 shoe at retail. Wow. So we're really hitting wow. a price point there. Yeah. Um, we have, we're, we're hoping for big things from this guy. And, it, and you know, still got that SP sole, so it does have that comfort that our other premium shoes have as well. I noticed that veg tan and like raw canvas is a really big thing with your, like raw materials, like a really big thing in the line this, this season. Yeah, I, it's just something that I see developing in the marketplace. People really like uh, classic. They like 
the original, like where it came from. And, and you see it like in brands like Hender Scheme where they do entire shoes out of veg tan leather. Obviously those are extremely expensive and most people can't have them. We want to be able to deliver to the consumer something comparable. Right. Something that, they, that is on that same page that gets that same kind of love. Exactly, yeah. exactly, cool. Well now take me through this one. This one I love. Okay. This one, so lightweight. For those who can't see it, it is like. So those that know the brand Clay, they really relate us to leathers and suede. We've been a very dominant leather and suede company for years and years and years. About to be our 15 year anniversary next year. So we've really become known for that. Um, we really wanted to dive into the all synthetic market. So this is a micro suede. It's an entirely synthetic shoe. It could be sold as vegan. It's got our blown EVA sole on here. It's a runner sole, extremely comfortable, lots of cushioning and very breathable shoe here. So we're really excited. This is a two-tone option in navy and uh, it's been the best received of the three colors that we have, but we're, we're, all three have been popular. It's got a little perforation on the, t on the uh, toe here and you know, what are the other super, super lightweight. <laughs> what are the other colors that you got of this one? So we have a cinnamon suede. Yep. And we have a black suede. And those are actually uh, not, not going to be two-tone. So it'll be cinnamon all the way through oh, okay, and black cool. all the way through. And then with white, uh, with the same cream sole. So. The cream sole, of course, man. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking us through the line, man. And oh, I appreciate your time. The best, you know, like definitely a lot of good stuff to look forward to in spring 16. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, man. All right, well, that wraps it up. So stay tuned to Clay in spring 16. Got all these silhouettes as well as a lot more coming from this brand. Be on the lookout for them.